Welcome to season two of the Fantastic Forager. I've been working hard on so many different things these last months, but I'm back after a long hiatus, and I'm so excited to share some new episodes with you. First up is this really bizarre plant called horsetail or equisetum, also known as puzzle grass or snake grass. This plant is over 300 million years old and it's considered a living fossil. It once grew to over 100 feet tall. This is a super ancient plant that starts out as what's called a vascular trace. This is a single non-branching stem. It has very primitive non-photosynthetic brown leaves and a bulby head containing millions of spores. The stem is hollow and ridged. The variety I found here in Canada is the Northern Giant Horsetail. The fertile shoots have these characteristic brown and white stripes running the length of the stem. The infertile shoots are green, not brown and white. The infertile shoots are much smaller and they have whorls of these green kind of proto leaves instead of brown and white stripes. The little green ones are not edible. They're too tough to eat. Stripey ones are the ones we want. Horsetails really do look like a weird kind of mushroom when they're young. But when these puppies mature, bam, they open up into weird mini trees. It's hard to believe this is the same plant. The green leaves of the horsetail are abrasive, scratchy, and tough. That's why they earned their other nickname, bottle brush or scouring rush. If you can collect these without scouring your hands, they make excellent pot scrubbers and sandpaper, and they've been used that way for many thousands of years, spanning civilizations. You can find horsetails worldwide on every continent except Antarctica. They grow in marshy, muddy muck. They like absolutely wet soil, and in some cases, they grow right next to this other weird plant, the skunk cabbage. When you think cabbage, you probably think, okay, I can definitely eat that but not so fast. This cabbage, for our purposes, is ornamental only. It will not make you feel good. It contains calcium oxalate crystals, which cause extreme discomfort to the tongue and entire digestive tract when eaten, sometimes resulting in serious internal bleeding and even death. The leaves are said to have a spicy taste, and they were indeed eaten by First Nations tribes in times of famine, but only in times of famine. The kind that I found is the western variety, yellow skunk cabbage, as you can probably guess by its characteristic rhizome and weird yellow flower. The eastern variety is purple, and it doesn't have that yellow flower, but it shares one really important thing in common with this variety. It stinks. These plants are very pungent. It's how they attract pollinators. Anyway, back to horsetail. It's a natural diuretic, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and antibiotic. Horsetails have been used in cultures across the world to treat a variety of ailments like these. Horsetail contains these important vitamins and minerals. Here and there, I found some mentions of people eating horsetail shoots, but the information was scarce. It seems that this plant is far more popular as a tea than a side dish, and I was determined to find out why. And then, I found out. This is really kind of scary looking. We want to make this look like this. Yeah, so these are very easy to peel. Just kind of with your finger, just pull away at this thing. Because these are kind of holding, they're hugging on to the horsetail, we're gonna wash them one more time. Are we ready? We're ready. Okay, so now that the pot is boiling, I'm gonna blanch them for about 30 seconds. I cut some of them in half so that they would fit completely into the water. One, just so that it can fit. Okay, so you can kind of see you can't tell from this angle, but from the top, I can see that the water is turning slightly green. So I'm gonna put these right into this ice cold water to stop the cooking, because I don't wanna overdo this. I'm gonna save the blanching water and drink it as tea. I'm straining it. The consistency is just so weird. So, I guess I'm gonna eat it. It's kind of like neon green, neon yellow colored. So I'm gonna try two parts of it. First, the stem, I guess. It's quite 
fibrous. So it's hard to cut? Difficult to cut. So what are we tasting? Not my favorite, guys. No? What does it taste like? Mm, it doesn't have the taste of really like anything. It's bland? It's bland. It's like the consistency of celery, but the taste of nothing. Okay. Now I'll try a bit of the, uh, the top. Top is easier to cut. It feels a bit spongy, like a, kind of like a mushroom. Not very edible? I don't care for that. <laughs> I'm gonna give this one a straight up pass. <laughs> Do not attempt. The top, there's just no saving. I think that maybe they're a bit too old. They're full of spores. So, uh -oh. yeah. Okay, so my reaction was a little weird, so I wanted to make Sean try it. This is me trying horsetail. horsetail. I'm trying this stem. Okay. It's not bad. It's just not. Um, Good? Just, just a pack <laughs> a punch of flavor. It's not full of. It's not bursting with flavor, we'll say that much. Okay, now here we go on the top. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, it looks like green corn on the top, it, on the outside. It looks pretty weird. Yeah, it's like All right, kiwi now corn. for the moment of truth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At first I thought it was going to be like corn, and then stuff happened in my mouth <laughs> it like disintegrated in a weird way and it got like spongy and um, kind of powdery powdery and it made my mouth dry up it like sucked up all the moisture in my mouth it's gross would you eat this again no and there we have it our sad sad plate of horse tails we give you an f one last note about horsetail, which I just found out. Weirdly, it also contains small amounts of nicotine. When ingested in small doses, horsetail is considered safe to eat, but I really wouldn't recommend anyone who's pregnant, suffering from an existing health condition, or sensitive to nicotine to try this. I actually wouldn't recommend anyone to try horsetail, period, because it just isn't very good. But if you're curious, and you can't find any horsetail near you, you can buy hundreds of different varieties of horsetail tea or capsules online. But, in my opinion, there are plenty of other, far more delicious ways you can get all of these health benefits without the addition of nicotine into your system, or the task of having to ingest something as gross as this. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Fantastic Forager. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you, and happy foraging!